Top Flight League Baseball Game of the Week, the first of the 2017 season. De La Salle versus Sarah, top third, two outs with Khalid Johnson on first. Johnson with a great jump. That's his second steal of the year. Second batter, Nick Santiago, takes ball four. So two on, two outs. Up comes Gabe Gielso. Number seven, rips it to the left side, base hit. Johnson, the speedster, will score the first run of the game all the way from second. Santiago to third and heads up base running by Gielso. He ended up at second. One zip. Bottom half, Sarah with runners on second and third. Jack D'Amelio with a bouncer to third and he'll reach first safely. Ball goes past the first baseman, Cameron Barstad with the equalizer. 1-1, one, one, we're all tied up. Padres weren't done yet. Patrick Caulfield hits a ground ball to third and he'll beat the throw. Dylan Yap would score. Two to one, Sarah. We skip to the top of the six. Runner on first, no out. Check out this six, four, three, double play. Nice job by the Padre Mafia. Sarah playing well on defense. Tommy Giorso with the diving catch to end the inning. Tommy got shaken up after the play. Here's another look. Ooh, looks like the ball actually bounced off the turf before it ended up in the center fielder's glove. All good. Let's move on. Top seven, Sarah. Only three outs away from winning this one, but the Spartans have other plans. Michael Curran with a base hit down the left side. Next batter, Nick Sorelli. It's a liner to short. Great heads up play for D'Amelio to throw out Curran at first for the six to three double play. But De La Salle would continue to battle. Austin Elder keeps it alive with the base hit to left center. Next batter, Mike Quinn, takes ball four. Runners on first and second now with two outs. And after battling eight pitches to a full count, Johnson takes ball four to load up the bases. Up comes Nick Santiago. Santiago hits it through the left side, base hit. Elder ties it up at 2 2. Here comes Quinn, but he'll get thrown out at home to end the top half. Santiago gets the RBI. Sarah would go 3 and out in the bottom of the seventh. So we go to extra innings. Spartans would rally with one out. Gio Mijares pokes it past the diving first baseman. Base hit. Two batters later. Two runners on for the pitcher. Colin Kafka. He gets jammed on this one, but the ball would get away from D'Amelio. Everyone's safe. Up comes the catcher, Austin Elder. Already had a hit earlier on, and he's about to smash this one. Deep ball to right. Austin Elder, catch me outside, how about that? Grand slam homer for the junior. I think he just secured his spot as the first GSF Top Fly Elite Baseball Game of the Week MVP. 6-2 Spartans with the sun about to say good night. Bottom half, Sarah with two runners on. Kafka looking to close it out. Serves up a grounder and it is over. The first GSF Top Flight Elite Baseball Game of the Week goes to the De La Salle Spartans. Great battle between the two squads. Kafka gets the win, but we got to give the playmaker to the man who drove in the tying run. Ali Williams talked to the playmaker Nick Santiago and MVP Austin Elder after the game. Game of the Week is brought to you by Top Flight Elite Baseball and by Ike's Lovin' Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every time. All right, to start off game winning uh, or game tying RBI, what was going through in your mind? Uh, I was just looking for a good pitch to hit and luckily he gave me one and I just put a good swing on it and it I got a hit, so that's what we're worried about, and we continue to fight and continue to battle and pull out the W. That entire last inning for you guys was pretty big. Uh, what did you see overall from your team to start off the season? Um, I just I just saw guys just really battling, really fighting. That's what we need, and that's what we need to win a championship. And they know what it takes, and it's just we got to get there now. And last question, just uh, how are you guys feeling about your season? We're feeling pretty good. We do have some stuff to improve on, but we're feeling really good right now. Um, we're fighting, we're battling, it's, it's going to be a grind. We'll 
for that game tying RBI, I would like to award you our playmaker of the game to get things started off. So here's the shirt for you. And then also a gift card, uh, gift card to Ike sandwiches as well. So congratulations and well done on the RBI. Oh, thinking when you're seeing that ball go over the fence? I was thinking pretty much just staying up the middle. I just got to get this one run on third in just to go ahead in the game and we could finish the game with Kafka on the mound with, to get three outs. But just pretty much staying up the middle and getting that one run in. Well, you guys were loud during that last inning, uh, to say the least. Good job, guys. And uh, you guys got on base. Base is loaded for it. So what did you see from your team before you got up to the plate? I saw a lot of kids, a lot of our guys battling at the plate, you know, working the counts, getting deep in the counts, and then getting uh, getting on base, which we need them to do. To finish off the game, you guys were able to, to get the last three outs together. And uh, when you guys look at this to keep your season going, what do you think of uh, moving forward? I think it's uh, we're building team chemistry, you know. We're getting better working with each other and um, hopefully making it to the playoffs. Hey, for now, we would like to award you our MVP of the game for that grand yeah. <laughs> And the uh, Ike's gift card, of course. I'll just hand that to you real quick. <laughs> <laughs>